The Coloplastite and inflatable peanut prosthesis has two pumps. And you may wonder what are the differences or if there is one better than the other one. Therefore, let's settle the debate once and for all. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Clavel and I am a urological surgeon and specialist in penile implant surgery. After doing your research, you might feel like the Coloplastitan implant may be the right implant for you. However, you find out that there are two different pumps, the classic, also known as a Genesis pump, and the One Touch or Touch pump. And you might wonder which one will be best for you. This video will hopefully help you decide which one is best specifically for you. As always, it is extremely important that you discuss this with your specific surgeon as he or she knows your situation better and this video is not intended to replace your surgeon's recommendations. So let's dig deep into the specifics of each pump. First, the Coloplast Classic. The Coloplast Classic was brought into the market sometime in the 1990s. It is characterized by a bulb that you use to inflate and two small linear tabs that need to be pressed for deflation. In order to deflate the classic pump, the patient needs to press and hold both tabs while at the same time squeezing on the penis in order to deflate the cylinders. If the patient lets go of those tabs, the cylinders will stop deflating immediately. Another feature that differentiates this pump from others available on the market is the configuration of the tubing. The tubing classic pump has the tubing in a straight line, as opposed to the other pumps that are triangular shaped. Some surgeons suggest this could be an advantage as it may prevent the tubings from rubbing against each other and therefore last longer. But this claim has not been validated in research studies. Now, the One Touch. The One Touch pump was brought to the market in 2013. Then, in October 2021, the Coloplast company made changes to the pump to help it be softer and more durable. When cycled in the laboratory, the latest model of the One Touch pump sustained an average of 58,000 inflation and deflation cycles. That's 58,000. That is, if someone were to cycle the device three times every day, the pump would last 52 years. Again, it is important to remember this was done in the lab, and this does not mean that your pump will last 52 years in real life but this suggests that the pump should be durable. The One Touch has a bulb similar to the Classic and a deflate mechanism right above the bulb that is used to deflate. The deflate mechanism is what makes the One Touch pump unique. Its shape is like a small square with hollow walls and a flat button. It is called One Touch because in theory, the patient can press the deflate button for just a few seconds and release it to allow the cylinders to naturally deflate. In theory, a man does not need to squeeze the penis to deflate. However, in practice or real life, most men squeeze the penis while pressing that deflate button to release the fluid back to the reservoir. Now, let's compare both. When it comes to inflation, they are very similar. They both are fairly soft and do not require a lot of force to push the fluid inside. Both pumps are currently softer and easier to inflate than the current AMS pump. When it comes to deflation, as stated before, the classic pump's deflate valve needs to be pressed and held while squeezing on the penis in order to deflate. On the other hand, the one touch only requires the button to be pressed for 3-4 to four seconds and the cylinders should deflate on their own. The advantages of the classic pump are, number one, it is slightly smaller, therefore less noticeable for the partner and an advantage when it comes to fitting the pump in men with a small scrotum. Number two, the deflate bars of the Classic are easier to find in the scrotum. It doesn't matter how the pump is placed, most of the time the bars sit on the side and most men are able to differentiate the deflate bars from the end of the bars, which makes it easier to identify the deflate mechanism and therefore it is easier to teach patients to deflate when compared to the One Touch. The disadvantage of the Classic Pump is that during inflation it makes a quacking sound with each squeeze. Take a listen. Younger men or those who are single and want to be as discreet as possible with their partners don't like this about the Classic. However, the noise it makes, it is not that apparent. If the patient goes to the restroom or puts some music prior to inflating the implant, the partner should not be able to hear the sound that the pump makes. But be aware that it does make a sound. On the other hand, the One Touch pump in general does not make any noise during inflation, 
which is an advantage over the classic and a great feature for those who want to be completely discreet with their partners. That said, we also need to remember that this is a hydraulic device that is transferring fluid. Therefore, in some occasions, specifically for those men with larger cylinders, we may sometimes hear the turbulence caused by the transfer of fluid going into those cylinders. As long as the implant is inflating and deflating, this is not a sign of malfunction. If you have any concerns, please feel free to reach out to your doctor about this. The disadvantages of the one touch though are number one, the one touch is slightly, and may I repeat that again, only slightly bigger than the classic. Take a look here. The difference in size is minimal. May I repeat that again? The difference in size is minimal. Number two, given that the deflate button is flat, many men initially struggle to find that deflate button. It is common for men to squeeze the side walls of the deflate mechanism rather than the deflate button itself. For tips on how to inflate and deflate the one-touch pump, refer to our teaching video, which you can find in our YouTube channel. Remember, regardless of which pump you get, most men struggle initially to deflate and inflate. And we also need to remember that eventually most men learn and they get it. After a few weeks, most men become experts in inflating and deflating the pump, regardless of which one they get. It is also important to clarify that there is absolutely no research showing that one pump is more durable than the other. Let's repeat that again. As of the beginning of 2023, there is no research studies showing that the classic pump is more durable than the One Touch or that the One Touch is more durable than the classic. We need to remember that the One Touch has only been in the market for 10 years, so there is really no way we can compare one with the other beyond that time frame. Anecdotally, most pumps last 10 to 15 years, that is on average. I have seen classic and one-touch pumps that fail within one or two years. And the same goes with the MS pump from the AMS 700 inflatable penile implants. But remember, these early failures are extremely, extremely rare, and in most occasions can be revised with a simple operation and without major complications. Also, there are men, although rare, who have had implants lasting 20 plus years. How long your implant will last is honestly hard for us to predict. Both Coloplast and Boston Scientific's engineers continue to work on providing men with the best, most natural, and most durable implant they can possibly create. Science continues to advance every day. In summary, when it comes to choosing which pump is best, most men go with whatever their surgery recommends. However, if someone wants the latest model or the pump that will make minimal noise, one touch is the way to go. If someone has a smaller scrotum or wants a pump that will be smaller and easier to find the deflate valve and at the same time does not care if that pump makes a noise, then classic is the way to go. And that's it. Regardless of the pump, remember one thing. The purpose of an inflatable penile prosthesis is to give a man a strong and natural erection. The Coloplast Titan will provide for both a good and strong erection. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button below, share it with others, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Our goal is to continue to provide content that will help you understand and feel at ease with your decision on proceeding with penile implant surgery. See you next time.